What if I told you that one of your habits could kill you? How often do you lay with your smartphone at night? Checking your news feed, liking and commenting on posts, or just listening to music? Are you ever too lazy to put your phone on the nightstand and it ends up under the pillow or next to you? Your laziness can cost you your life. This fact might not be true and just a rumor from the web. Hello everyone, this is The Lighthouse Channel. Let's shed some light on this topic. This video isn't going to be about me telling you that your cell phone is a source of pure radiation. It is, but it's also practically impossible to survive without a smartphone in today's day and age. More often, your phone's in your pocket or bag, and we barely ever bring it up to our heads, other than taking phone calls. But when we go to bed and leave the phone next to us, we get an additional and unnecessary dose of radiation. And if we take into account that we spend one-third of our lives sleeping, if not more, we don't notice the hazard we cause on a regular basis. Now, let's take a look at the impact smartphones have on our bodies. Phones disrupt our sleep. Everyone's familiar with this situation. You're watching the videos on your phone. You think, just one more and I'm going to sleep. Next thing you know, you wake up and you see that it's 6 a.m. and your alarm goes off in an hour. According to many scientists, phones distract and prevent us from relaxing and sleeping peacefully. It's also been found that the blue light waves emitted from the screens cause serious disturbances in how your body releases melatonin. This hormone regulates our biological clocks and is responsible for sleep quality. Scientists believe that gadgets decrease the production of melatonin by about 20%. If your body doesn't get enough rest, it can lead to problems such as memory loss, mood swings, and your ability to concentrate. Researchers from Harvard Business School found that over 60% of Americans sleep with their phone on the bed, and half of them check their phone at least once throughout the night. By the way, radiation from a smartphone may also cause deterioration of your sexual health and fertility. For this reason, we don't recommend you carry your smartphone in your jeans. Nomophobia How many of you know this term? It's the fear of being without your phone or inability to use it. The need of you having to check your phone at night can be a sign of this disorder. Like other bad habits, nomophobia is associated with impaired dopamine production. This disorder can cause nervousness, anxiety, and even physical health problems, dizziness, difficulty breathing. If you didn't take the previous argument seriously, how's this one for you? It can increase the chance of getting tumors. The impact of smartphones on humans and the risk of cancer is a hot topic of discussion and is quite controversial. Scientists can't come to an agreement, and while there isn't any 100% evidence to link electromagnetic radiation of smartphones to the development of cancer cells, many scientists recommend people to be cautious of their smartphones. Smartphones can harm not just your body. A 13-year-old girl from Dallas witnessed this firsthand. She'd put her smartphone under her pillow every night before going to bed. One night after falling asleep, she woke up to the smell of smoke and found her pillow on fire. The cause of the fire was a defective phone battery. Obviously, if you sleep with your phone a few times under your pillow, nothing will happen. But if it becomes a habit, then there's a high probability of obtaining health problems. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. There are many secrets in the world. We'll shed some light on them.